up, chumps? <laughs> I'm just kidding, just fooling around. Gotta knock these bozos and wieners off. Some sort of beast has entered our boat. From the Great North to Wonder Wharf. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to kind of a new edition of what we're doing here at From North to Wharf. Just for Comic Con, we're doing our Comic Con panel exclusive videos. I guess, I don't know. We don't have a catchy name yet. <laughs> but um, today, since um, there's no Bento panels that we can watch, we're going to go ahead and do a review of Toddland and his awesome merchandise that came out. And kind of go over like what we got or what we're looking forward to kind of getting. And of course, it's Todd stuff, so it's great stuff, good quality. Um, let's just go. Let's just jump in because there's a lot of really cool stuff here that he was able to put together. Yeah, and and, and before we do that, JB, I just want to um, put a disclaimer. Todd Land also puts out merch for American Dad and Family Guy, mm -hmm. but we are only covering Bob's Burgers since we are a bento show. And that's where we're at. But he also has great stuff for other shows. So check that out. Toddland.com. Mm -hmm. He's won Best Booth, what, last couple of years? Yeah, I think last two or three years in a row. Mm -hmm. Takes down the monsters like Funko and Star Wars and... <laughs> Marvel and all the other ones. Yeah, they don't stand a chance against Todd. But let's get into uh, the merch, shall we? Yep, let's do it. All right. Um, first off, we're going to talk about the uh, stickers. Um, there's not many for the this cons release, but first off, we have uh, the uh, the course the trio of uh, King Trash Mouth, um, Gary, and uh, is it Gary's husband? Well, Will King I, I don't Trash Mouth's uh, husband is Gary. This okay. might be like El Diablo. El Diablo. There you go. Um, so we have a three pack of the raccoons and the uh, the start. large trash can. That's outside the restaurant there. Pretty simple design. I'm going to say that's King Trashmouth with the noodles in his hand. I would um, hope so. Yeah. But beyond that, it's a pretty simple design. I assume it's uh, four individual stickers that you can place any way you'd like uh, in your own design. But, um, I mean, solid. Mm -hmm. And I think for a lot of people, they wanted to, they liked that episode where Linda feeds oh, yeah. the raccoons spaghetti. Oh yeah, they're they're um, they're fan favorite characters that we don't really see a lot of, just because I mean they really have no business being there. Um, we mind a whole episode of their drama. Yes, I would love to have it, but of, yeah, when when you or if it was a secondary that, subplot, that'd be hysterical. But when when you found out Linda was opening the restaurant, you kind of lost your mind there, in, in the best way, of course. Yes, 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 it was. Uh, and it went okay. just as I thought it would. Yeah. <laughs> Um, moving on to the second sticker we have here is a, one of Mr. Fron's um, motivational posters, the hop on the self-esteem boat with a little steam <laughs> engine boat there. Smiley With face. A happy the, face uh, captain hat. Yeah. Yeah. You've seen um, it in the background of his office. Mm-hmm. 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 I, I wonder if they're going to, uh, and this is something we'll get into a little later, but the pin set that has mm -hmm. the um, uh, the pest control van, I wonder if they're going to do more of Mr. Fron's posters in the in the background of yes it's there. also be very cool mm -hmm. yeah like a doll set like the press maybe, memory yeah, emily the and even like one poster of just all of that or the pins collection of them being strung up by the strings mm -hmm. yeah oh that'd be that'd be dark but yeah that'd be great but yeah i, I mean if you've seen the poster in the background it, there there's not much that there's no change in the design it is exactly what you see on the wall there so so not bad um moving on of and course then I we, think have... we have our biggest sticker probably for this release which is the today is tomorrow's yesterday teddy's motivational poster we're not sure yeah. if it's a sunset or a sunrise but <laughs> um, I, I, I i'm it's... inclined to say a sunrise myself i don't know it looks like a sunset but of course you of course you would i'm, I'm surprised is... they didn't do like full-size posters of this i know i think it's because there is a lot of those out there unfortunately already done yeah. I know I have um, just a little eight by 10 like printer page <laughs> that I printed out and <laughs> laminated and put up and it's just like, it's my motivational poster at work. <laughs> but this is an awesome sticker. It totally would be cool to see on like phones and things for motivation. So if you want <laughs> that, I would definitely get it. 
Yeah, they're, they're all available again. Um, all this and everything else that we'll be showing is all available right now at toddland.com. Um, normally in the past, all his or all their con stuff was con exclusive and you had to pick it up in person. Um, or you, if you knew someone who was in line, they could pick up stuff for you and mail it to you. But since uh, the last few years we've been struck with this pandemic, they've gone to online. So all their stuff is now available online for everyone to get, which, which is great. I think good for everybody. Yeah, good for everybody. It's going to suck come uh, next year when we're back, yeah. well, <laughs> we're back when we in inter- Well, when we interviewed Todd back for episode two, so if you haven't heard it, go check it out. It's yep. He brought up a lot of things about how this was – something they wanted to do and then they were able to do it. And now they're able to ship it to everybody within the United States still. Um, yep. Yeah. Like for our friends in the UK, um, you still have to find someone who will send it to you. But yeah, there are people that definitely post on the Facebook group that they'll do this for you and help you out. And yes. so there's always those options, but I would yeah, definitely, definitely agree. Definitely Tom check wants. out the Facebook group because if you're getting them on eBay, you're getting ripped off. Yeah, um, you are. Todd said as much. He's like, I, people are charging 60 bucks for pins and I still have them in house for $10 a piece. Yeah. So check toddlane.com first, then the Facebook group before you start going to eBay and paying out the wazoo for them. So, and I know he said for basically the cons, like in 2022, when he comes back, everything he is hoping will still be online. There will just <laughs> be like one con exclusive t-shirt that you have to be here to get or a pin yeah, or yeah. a sticker, like or a tote. One will right. be one or two will be just con exclusive exclusives nice. and be here, but the rest will be available for everyone. So nice. Oh, very encouraging. Cool. All right. Well, that kind of does it for the stickers. I think now we can move on to uh, the tote bags. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do the totes. Okay, sweet. So first off, we have the um, work hard or die trying girl. Um, of course, the episode where they had yeah. two um, uh, opposing musicals. musicals. Yeah. Um, so we have the uh, entire children's cast all done up in their uh, work hard or die trying girls um, costumes uh, with their paper backgrounds and all that. I dig their it. little I think finger guns. Little finger guns. Uh, what's her face um, is chewing on her necklace like she always does. Again, mm-hmm. I'm not good with names, people. Um, you have the cardboard Working. cut out of the police Wheeler. car, and Rudy has his fake mustache. It, yeah, I mean, and then there's it, Ren- um, <laughs> Daryl. I cracked the code. Here's your bear bonds. They're as good as cash, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and then Andy and Ollie, of course, as the, uh, the detectives Johnson and Johnson. And there um, with the FBI. FBI. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the uh, whole musical. <laughs> That'd be great. I would love to see an entire musical of um, uh, Die Hard. Well, um, also the TSA the... one, too. That one sounds yeah. really good. If you see something, say something. Mm-hmm. What about mm-hmm. female pat down? <laughs> yeah, um, I, I think it's a solid design. I, I of course, love the episode. So um, mm-hmm. I'm surprised it wasn't done before this, actually. Yeah, I, I could see that. Maybe we're just waiting mm-hmm. for something like a good con to let this out. Yeah. Well, of course, they've always they have so much stuff to choose from. I mean, it's easy to uh, push something back to the very next year. Um, following that up with the, I don't have the names of the actual products in front of me, but we have the uh, tote where the Belchers have actually gone to San Diego to go to the Comic Con. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is yeah. closed. So we have the family barbecuing out in front of the um, the convention oh, center. Convention center. Uh, Dean is trying to get in, even though the doors are locked. Uh, is this one of those push things and he's pulling like he did in the episode? Where he's that, like, yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking is happening here. Uh, Luis is trying to uh, Mission Impossible her way in through the open window up top with help from Tina. And then for some reason, Zeke and Jimmy Jr. are there wrestling. And then on the back of the Belcher's station wagon says San Diego or bust. Mm-hmm. Of course, Bob has his tiny little grill here, and he's making burgers. And we have uh, signs that say, close, no entry beyond this point. See you in 2022. And also, close until 2022. See you next year. Um, I mean, solid. I dig it. Yeah, definitely sums up this year's con. I, w- I, was, I was a little hesitant because the tote is blue and Tina's T-shirt is blue, but they don't blend in with each other. and It, it works. Mm-hmm. So um, I dig it. Me, yeah. No, I, I dig. It. I have I have no qualms with this one. Mm-hmm. I like the design this year for the con. Yeah, it's a solid yeah. one. 
Yeah, it, it, um, a Hall H, of course, for those who don't know, is, is the big hall there at Comic-Con where a lot of the big things like Batman v Superman or Justice League or uh, the new Batman movie. You see, and Mike lines up with DC a lot. Um, a lot of questions yeah, like there. May, but... may, maybe uh, Batman the Long Halloween that's coming out, um, like stuff like that usually gets unveiled there and some Marvel stuff, I suppose. Um, but yeah, any closing thoughts on the uh, tote for uh, See You Next Year? Um, I got one, so there's of that. Of course you do. Yeah, that, we'll get to that at the end on how JD kind of had to take out a second mortgage on his house. Second, third, I mean, who wants to go <laughs> to college? Kids don't want to go to college. You've already been to college, you're fine. Yeah, exactly. And grads, um, that's fine. And then last but not least, we have yeah. the the tote that people have been asking for for quite a while, and finally, Ooh. um, I don't say want to say finally, I'm sure Todd has had this ready, but it's been just waiting to get the, mm-hmm. the thumb up. We have a pickles design Ooh, this year. Yes, we do. And we have the firemen. Yes, and it's, we. This is a solid tote bag. This is a fun tote. Mm-hmm. Um, I hope to see a lot of these out when I'm going shopping. Mm-hmm. Occasionally, I'll see a Bob's tote, and I'm like, "Oh, there's a fan." But is, it is, is cool. Is the S in pickles a snake? I want to say it is. Okay. Oh, of course. Double entendres being what they are. Uh huh. Yep. And the ho. Yeah. They. They're. Yeah. It's all innuendos. Yeah, they got good given, pickles, though. Remember that. Good pickles, and the only um, thing I would change, and this is probably some Todd couldn't do or just didn't make sense for them to do, is I would like bedazzle, like the background, or put something on there because it's a strip club, and those those things are usually uh, very glitzy and glamoury. Well, I think it'd be the only thing I might add is like the black behind the pickles. I may have added <laughs> a little glitter to that paint. Yeah, so that it yeah, kind of glistens that'd be cool. out a little bit. I think that'd been a nice touch, but this is solid in general. Was wasn't there a a gag in um from Linda? Something about nickels. Oh, they put quarters in their g strings. Quarters. That's what she does. So yeah, maybe maybe there could have been like a bunch of quarters laying around him. Oh yeah, um, that, that could have been a nice too. touch. Or the fire hat tipped over full of quarters. Yeah, that, that might that might be too inside baseball for everyone, but uh, we we would enjoy that. Yeah, I mean, she only does say it one time. Yeah, <laughs> but no, it, it's solid, and we'll see pickles again here in a second. But um, mm-hmm. and it's weird because I like the color of the tote that this is on, and we'll get to it later. But I don't like the t-shirt color. Mm, yeah, um, I know you talked about that yesterday. Yeah, uh, I, again, I, I dig it on the tote, but for some reason on the t-shirt, I would have went with a different color, but that's just... Maybe it's just too much. I mean, it makes sense because pickles are green, and it's a green shirt, but... To each their it's own. Just, DC it's, it's a good shirt. Just, to each their own. Just, just a little nitpick by me, and um, we'll, who, who is Todd Land to pay attention to what I have to say, so... That, um, yeah, beyond that, we have three totes, and before that, we have three stickers, so kind of... Um, a little light. I feel like usually there's a lot more totes. Um, mm, but maybe we're, maybe he's saving a lot of these cool tote designs he has for next year. Yeah, I mean, the, there's more. Uh, well, WonderCon's already happened. I believe Comic Con is being there too. smashed into both years. Uh, yeah. like New York and San Diego, I think maybe both are um, like they're being smashed into one, or if they are being two separate ones, maybe he's holding some back for. Uh, the New and, York Comic Con. Yeah, and maybe it was one of those things because we're supposed to have that one in November, maybe. Yeah, maybe. He just kind of held on to one or two just in case that goes through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, so far, solid, but let's jump into uh, – there's use, there's two big things that people usually look out for. That's pins and T-shirts. So let's hop into the T-shirts. Okay. All right. First off, we have the, um, of course, if you follow Tallinn, you know, they do a burger of the day for all their cons, and they're very con-specific or uh, specific of the times. This year is no different. The, and this one is titled the Until We Canned Meat Up Again Burger, uh, patty made from spiced canned meat, so like spam. Yes. Um, <laughs> it's on a Heather Gray t-shirt. Uh, I love that. Yeah, it, it's, it's clever. It's funny. And it's a front uh, and back. I like that, actually. It is. They got the uh, burger on the uh, left breast uh, where the pocket usually is. They got the burger there. Um, I, I wonder if that's just a generic burger or if that's what they considered the until we can meet up again burger. That's just a thought of mine. Mm, interesting detail. I'm sure we can pick yeah. Todd's brain about it. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. 
Um, it, it, it's a straight, simple design. You've seen the burger of the day. It, it's no different from what uh, what they've done every year. Um, just a new burger. Mm -hmm. I like the pun, though. It is nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The until we can, to C-A-N-N-E-D, meet, M-E-A-T, up again, burger. No. Let us meet uh, you. Yeah, let us meet you. No. Let us catch up. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, moving on, we have the um, the Belchers again locked out of the Hall H, mm -hmm. uh, just like the uh, tote that we saw, but now in t-shirt form. And I like this uh, blue color. It's a I it's do. a nice light blue. It is. It is. And I don't believe they're coming in other colors. I have to double check, but um, I believe what we have here is the colors that they come in, unless posted differently. So that's a solid shirt. Yeah. Um, following up with stuff that we've already seen, but brought in the t-shirt form, we have the work hard or die trying girl. This is on a, uh, I don't know what this color is. It's like a, a, light, a light, yeah, like a very light gray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, same graphic pulled over from the tote. So solid. Uh, yeah, I, I think I've said all I can on the tote as far as the design goes. I, I, I love it. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. I was looking forward to this. Yeah. Uh, there appear to be no back hits on any, any of these shirts. Um, so the, we have nothing to talk about on the back there. But um, yeah, no, uh, another solid design. Do we uh, want to go with our big tie-dyed one next or save that one for uh, last? Let's jump into the pickles one since we already mentioned it and all True. the other ones are brand new to us. Um, so the, the difference one here with the pickles design is that we get two more um characters on the side we get mm -hmm. a policeman and we get it looks like a, a doctor sexy doctor sexy policeman mm -hmm. yeah not bad the 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 um pickles logo is still the same the fireman is still the same from the tote bag just now the pickles uh logo is flanked by mm -hmm. uh, sexy doctor sexy policeman yep get your love testometer right here <laughs> so many sick packs i'm jealous um Solid design. Again, I, I mentioned that I'm not a huge fan of the green t-shirt for this particular one. I would have went with maybe a purple or a black. Um, just personal preference, of course. No, not a big deal. So not, it doesn't make me hate the shirt. <laughs> Your design is still solid. Yeah, very, very solid. Um, JB, you mentioned this, this t-shirt just a second ago. Do you want to you take it from here? I will take it. Yeah. So I finally... I don't know why I put it off for so long, but we have our very last, according to this uh, Toddland, this is the last Madness Castle t-shirt they're going to do. And um, the design is yellow, blue, a little bit of green and red, kind of pinkish tie-dye swirl into the Madness mm -hmm. Castle. And I, I did have to take this one because it's <laughs> the last one. And why not? If, we're, if we ever go to the cons and things like that, I, of course, will wear a great... Uh, the North of Wharf shirts, but I might want to put a Madness Castle shirt on. Is this your one and only Madness Castle shirt? That this you is my have? one and only. All right, all right. Does it, mean, do. does it mean that I'm not going to look online for another color? It, I definitely probably will at some point. <laughs> I, I wonder if um, each of these t-shirts are unique as far as the tie-dye goes, because I know those are hard I think color-wise they are, but I don't know if the swirl is. I can take a yeah. look in the back and get back to people on that yeah yeah that, that i know those are hard to replicate so these are because we recently saw a video of how they um press the t-shirts and make them mm -hmm. and it is all done by hand and it, it is amazing so shout out to those folks who actually do those yeah and the process in general like it doesn't seem like it's a very simple mm -mm. It no it's not time. done in it's not done in a dingy warehouse somewhere where um people are being forced to pee in bottles it, it's 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 all done with love by hand it's it's amazing um, but yeah, another, it's, it's the Madness Castle design. Um, the font, of course, it, there's no graphic. Oh yeah, just no, the, all the tie-dyes are different. Nice. So we have uh, to buy them all up, so you have all the Man, variants. no, there's some pretty <laughs> cool ones. There's a very pastel one that happened a little while ago. We've got a, mm -hmm. oh, there's like a lot of them actually that are very yeah, vibrant I think, I think, colored. This one was a little more tame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think this is the fourth one that they've made. Yeah, this is the fourth one. They did a yeah. long sleeve, two short sleeves in the last cons. The first one yes. was really vibrant colors, like mm -hmm. almost like a, a galaxy swirl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Solid design. If you've seen the other ones, you've seen this one. So it's 
solid choice. You can't go wrong with it. Pick it up if you have. And if you have the other three, definitely pick this one up. Uh, that brings us to the cast photo shirts. Mm -hmm. um, now, this one does come in various colors. We have a what appears to be an off-white and a... And a uh, mellowed yellow, almost. Yeah. It's like, a pink, <laughs> like a pastel yellow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I don't know if this is supposed to... Rep well, it clearly doesn't represent the entire cast of characters. So I'm not sure how they picked out these characters. I love that it even says that in the description. Mm. What, what's it say in the description? Let me look it up real quick. But it, like, it jokes at that. Okay, yeah. I mean, just off... From what I can see here, of course, we have Hawk and Chick. We have uh, Torpedo Jones. We have the um, Bronconius and his boys. It's Where's called the now? 2021 Bob's Burgers. Everybody, mostly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we got characters going back. We have uh, the Taffy guy from um, season two, episode one. And so a lot of characters here. It might have just been random and how they pull them. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's even the um, the uh, the sex doll mannequin. Yep. Oh, Chet yeah. and Nadine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the sofa queen and her brother are there. Marshmallow, of course. Um, solid. I think uh, Adam might have picked this one up, right? Yeah, I think he did. He didn't yeah. say what color though, but I would probably guess he went with the off white. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be my choice. Um, another solid design. It, it's funny how they. Uh, said in the, the description mostly. I think it would have been fun if they put a little asterisk on the t-shirt, like in the bottom corner. It mm -hmm. says, mostly all characters. Or uh, <laughs> something along those lines. But, um, I mean, definitely solid. I like that it's a square. Um, yeah. like all the characters kind of fit in a nice little square. And it's definitely got evened on the top and the bottom. Um, so it's very easy on the eyes. And then I think we have our last t-shirt which I know you liked, and I thought oh, it was a is... hilarious design too, but it's the, Arma the Parmageddon shirt. Parmageddon. Um, I, I Gene in his space suit and everyone just kind of walking slow behind him and the explosion in the background. Like, it's just so over the top. This is hands down my favorite design for this release. Um, I, I'm a space nerdy kind of kid, so um, I absolutely love uh, this is close as we're going to get to uh, the Belchers in space and NASA. Um, mm -hmm. So I a billion percent love this. Um, yeah, I have nothing to say, but kudos to whoever designed this. <laughs> it is, it is amazing. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, the, the explosion in the background, the colors using the explosion in the background, I think are perfect. It definitely uh, draws your eye in. Uh, I definitely want to get a little more details on what the patches are that are on the Belcher's jumpsuits. I wonder if they're anything special. Um, or Maybe punny. that'll get released at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, Gene, of course, has his spatula on his, uh, his belt there and a walkie-talkie. <laughs> He's got the uh, crew cut, um, uh, what's his name, Bruce Willis haircut going on there. Uh, very official. Very great. I love it. No, this is a solid design. I have really nothing bad to say about it at yeah. all. <laughs> absolutely nothing Todd you, you nailed it with this one you, you can retire now good job so now we've got the bread and butter which a lot of people Ooh. go to is for the pins and yeah there's, there's some all... big exclusives for these all right, I believe these are all limited editions mm -hmm. they range okay. though let me pull mm -hmm. up the uh, website so as we talk about it, I can tell you how many of each there are yeah um, we'll start off with the uh, the burger of the day one the mm -hmm. until we can meet up again burger again patty made from spiced can meat uh all they usually like to do the uh, burger of the day in the t-shirt and pin form and this this year's no different mm -hmm. um what's the print run of these so these ones it's limited edition to 300 300 okay and, and it says here that pre-orders will ship for all of these things between 8 15 and 8 30 oh so that's when good, things should be shipped out does it mention whether or not it's a single or double backing um, it does not. Okay. I, I would assume it's a double backing just because how big these pins the are. Oh. No, he doesn't have a picture of the back. But okay, usually the double, the heavier they are, the more they are. Like mm -hmm. backing wise. Yeah. yeah, for sure. So I mean, not much to say on that design. It, it's, it's the t-shirt. It's a solid burger of the day. Uh, the pun's great. So um, moving on. 
Uh, let's go to the uh, King Trash Mouth and Gary pin set. Okay. Uh, we, uh, it's, it's a two pin set, so two individual pins, um, similar to the sticker set that we saw. Uh, I would assume that's King Trashmouth with the noodles in his hand, uh, Gary by his side as his uh, loving husband, of course. Um, I mean, it's the same design from the sticker, so it's solid. Uh, whether or not they're single or double backy, I can't say. Mm -hmm. But um, what, what's the print run on these? This one is 400 Okay. Not bad. <coughs> and all the pins, they're priced the same way. Are they like 12 bucks a pop? Um except for the multiples. So every other one is 12. This one is 18 because it's got two pins. Two pins. Okay. And then that kind of answers the question for another pin I'll have down the road, but we'll mm -hmm. get to that here in a second. Um, let's follow that up with the children. Why not? Okay. Um, this appears to be a three pin set. Uh, you have um, Louise with her uh, little Texas bolo tie. tie. Yeah. Uh, Gene in his um, turtleneck and his jeans and uh, Tina in her dress that she can't fit into. Um, With a duct taped oven mitt. <laughs> yes. And of course, this is from the um, Worms uh, of the Rear Men episode, which yeah. is the Emmy nominated episode at this point. It is. It is. Um, so this appears to be a three pin set. So I assume that's going to mean it's a little more pricey, but JB, what's mm -hmm. the price in the, this uh, one is $25 for all okay. three mm -hmm. and it is a run count of 400. Okay. Okay. And what was the run count on the, Oh, we, we, we mentioned the burger of the day. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, it's a cool design. Um, three individual design or three individual pins, a lot of small details like Louisa's tie, the uh, duct tape oven mitt, and of course, Gene holding the ladle. Yeah, with the teeth to scratch. Mm -hmm, Pasted mm -hmm. on. Of course, in the, um, the paper backing that all these pins are on, the background on this one is of the, uh, is it the hamster maze? Yeah, if they had one. Yeah. Yeah, if they had one, if they had a hamster, so that's always fun. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if there's anything on the back of these uh, papers, um, so someone who's actually ordered one could let me know. So mm -hmm. I have never been able to grab one, but um, no, any uh, any passing? Uh, no, I'm just on this? I'm just curious if an episode is Emmy nominated, if they will put out a pin to commemorate that kind of stuff. Oh, we'll have to go back and see uh, what the previous designs were. Mm -hmm. I'll take a look. And, you said this was a print run of 300 or 400? 400 for this one. 400 for that one and $25, you said? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good to go. All right, another solid one. Um, let's move on to the individual characters. The last two are kind of special. So we'll uh, start off with Bob here from the, uh, the latest vampire episode. For the life of me, I cannot remember the name of it. Oh, um, yeah. This one's yeah, called the, the Shake Your Love Parts pin. There you go. It's got Bob in his uh, white pants, blue dress shirt, unbuttoned down to uh, uh, mid chest. He's got his gold chain on, corpse paint, and a uh, nice little detail. He has the vampire bite marks. Yep. Yeah. Um, he's in his uh, nice little pose where he's got his hip kind of cocked out to the side, and uh, clearly he's uh, he's enjoying himself here. This one is very limited. This one is 200 only. So Ooh. it's cut in half from the other ones, and it's going mm -hmm. for $12. Okay, not bad. It's nice to know that even the more limited pieces aren't priced accordingly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like usually, like, limited pieces uh, result in a higher price, but um, that's not the case. I wonder, it would be nice if this had moving parts, like maybe the, the hips, hips swayed. Like swayed back and forth, or the upper torso did, but um, no, solid. I dig it. I didn't. I didn't like the episode too much, but I, I like this pin. Yeah, we we disagree on that one, but that's fine. <laughs> I like I like elements of the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here's here's the pin I'm most excited for, or one of the pins I'm most Sheriff. excited for. Sheriff. Sheriff. Yes. Uh, I absolutely love the sheriff costume. Um, it's it's one of the few times my wife likes Bob's Burgers, but she's not a huge fan like I am. This is one of the few times where she's laughed out loud. She's like, I love that. Um, it, it's, uh, of course, Linda in her sheriff outfit. Uh, that's sheriff spelled C-H-E-R. Uh, she's got her tiny little cowboy hat. Uh, and then she's dressed up like Cher from the If I Could Turn Back Time music video. With, with of course, the background being... Um, Ocean uh, Ave on Ocean Halloween. Avenue. 
yeah, with the with the pumpkins out there. So yeah, again, Mr. Fishwater hasn't stolen them yet, but yeah, yeah, solid solid pin. Um, surprised it took this long to come out. I'm sure they've had other designs, but um, yeah, I, I I love this one. Mm-hmm. It seems like they release one Halloween costume with every release. Mm-hmm. What's the uh, price range of print run on this one? This one is twelve dollars as well, and it's two hundred, so it's the same as um, the Shake Your Love Parts Bob pin. Yeah, I, I guess the uh, I guess they're just getting smaller in print runs here. That leads us to Nat, the new fan favorite. Mm-hmm. Um, we got Nat from her uh, V for Valentine Detta episode. She's uh, posted up in front of her limousine, kind of giving the two finger salute. Um, not much in the way of small details or anything to point out here. Uh, just a solid design from a fan favorite. Mm-hmm. So Nat, her pin is going to be again two hundred, mm-hmm. so same as the other two, and twelve dollars. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I'm sure I mean, anything with Nat is going to fly off the shelf. So, mm-hmm. so I'm sure that's going to be no different. Uh, that leads us into uh, our final two pins here. This one is interesting because i'm not sure what they're going to do in the future with it but this is the very first in the series of the um exterminator vans Mm -hmm. the pest vans Um, yeah yeah the pest vans we we don't know how many they're going to do they're certainly not going to do 150 plus of these um jb you had mentioned that you thought maybe they were going to do their 10 favorite Mm -hmm. maybe 10 or 15 yeah like the fan favorite ones Mm -hmm. i'll be interested to see if we see like um the king of the hill dales one Oh yeah, that'd be great. So we'll see um, if we get some other ones. There's, I know, like, um, there's quite a few fan favorites that people talk mm-hmm. about. Like the puns are really solid on some of mm-hmm. them. Uh, of course, this one for the first one is Rats All, folks, which is the very first um, pest fan, which ran all through season one. Mm-hmm. So it only makes sense that that would be the first one. Uh, what do we got on a price and print on these? So this one is twelve, okay. and. Since it's the first in the series, they're doing 300, it looks like, to start off. So 100 more than the others. Ooh, I wonder if the wheels spin or anything, anything special. I bet this one might be a two-backer. Mm-hmm. It, it's so long, probably, compared to other pins. I wonder if in the future they're going to do the thing where you see Jimmy Jr. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Pesto in the, in yeah. the mirror, in, in the, the window. Mirror or for, yeah, or for the Halloween one, the uh, skeleton version of them. Um, mm-hmm. I wonder if we I might get one too, like if the last one could be Hugo and Ron. Mm-hmm. So we might get like them in the window as a mm-hmm. health inspector now, van. What what is this one titled on the website? This one is titled Bob's Burger Van Number One. Okay, so I okay because I was curious. Maybe they're not doing pest vans, but they're just doing vehicles from the show. Because they have different vehicles like Hugo and Ron and the Belcher's car and Teddy's truck. Um, that sounds like kind of cool. I'd be very open to a Bob's family in the yeah. car or Teddy in his truck saying, like, I wish yeah. the window or my radio worked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be great. But, yeah, it sounds like they're doing just the vans, which is fine. Um, okay, so that leads us to the the big pin this year, what, what I consider the big pin this mm-hmm. year. This is the must get for me, so – and I did this, get – Yes, you did. I get it. Um, got I got it. it get, you get got it. Got, got. Yep. The Hawk and Chick pin. Mm. Um, it it appears to be just one pin given the price range. Um, mm-hmm. So two or one giant pin, two characters. Definitely probably a two backer for sure. Oh yeah, I would say two to potentially four Three. at this point because it, yeah. it's so big. Um, but you have Hawk and Chick. Each holding a sword, uh, chick is pointing. Hawk is looking off menacingly. Um, it's fantastic. The colors on it are great. Um, mm-hmm. One thing that Case had brought up on Facebook is a concern of his was how flimsy, potentially flimsy, the uh, smaller bits are, like the handles of the sword or the blades. So um, just like yeah, being careful with them. Yeah, put them on stuff. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, like those are so thin uh, and potential snappable pieces but i'm sure todd and all them have uh, brought that into consideration before the rigorous the- todd testing <laughs> yeah set it on fire to see if it's flammable and all that stuff mm-hmm. um this is uh hands down other than the parmageddon i think this was the must-have for the con this year 
Mm -hmm. Definitely. There was a lot of hype for this on the Facebook page and yeah, we had talked about it. I know um, KSK had hidden about it coming out and Todd had told us like in the past, like this is something he's wanted to do. It's just more or less yeah. finding when to do it. Yeah. I mean, full disclosure, we knew this pin was coming out a while ago. We just didn't know what the design looked like. Um, we just knew that there was indeed a two pin set coming out. Um, and it's nice to see that it's finally come out and it looks fantastic. I'm curious if we're going to see a few more poses from Hawk and Chick as we go through it. And also, will we eventually get um, the monsters? Mm, that, that would be great. Like the seaweed monster and just like a whole the battle. The cephalopod monster, yeah. Mm -hmm. like It would be like a three pin set, Hawk, Chick, and the monster. Yep. So, I mean, clearly they're not opposed to doing three pin sets. They have one with the children. So it, it's very solid. Mm -hmm. um what's the price range and the front row so this one is a, a steal for getting two for for one basically this is 12 bucks it mm -hmm. is limited though to 200 only Ooh. so this one will probably i would assume get sold out fairly quickly yeah and again since it is 12 dollars, that leads me to believe common sense would say that this is one solid pin as opposed to two individual pins um but yeah a great design as always from todd and kudos to the folks who uh, make these designs and um do all the printing and stuff it's mm -hmm. fantastic like it always is um so now that we've done our review we've given our honest feedback and opinions we love it like we always do always uh, let's get a, get a little more personal jb what were you able to get your hands on well i mean it's what i wanted to get <laughs> versus what i could get it's a want versus need <laughs> there um, you go. Well, but, but let's be honest there's nothing we needed of course but, what, but what, what you, I wanted want? and what I got were two separate issues. Um, oh. So what I wanted initially was I did want um, to get the Until We Can Meet Up Again burger t-shirt mm -hmm. mm -hmm. to commemorate the con. I usually try to get one um, to commemorate each con if I can get it, either whether it's a pin or something. Mm -hmm. um, Madness Castle. I mean, all the shirts I really kind of really liked. It was between the <laughs> Work Hard, Dying, or um, Work Hard, Die Trying Girl shirt. Um, Madness Castle and the um, Everybody Mostly Tea. But mm -hmm. when it came to t shirts, I settled for getting the last um, Madness Castle shirt. Ooh, good choice. Good choice. So I went with that for the shirts. Um, I did not get any totes. I got a tote for the Pride one. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, plus, I already think I have four totes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a huge tote guy. I do have like four. Or five we totes we take them grocery shopping, and then we have tons yeah, of yeah. them now. So we try to keep them to like. We only need this many, but if there is a nicer one and one is looking a bit straggly, then yeah, I'll mm. get a new one. Pin wise, um, we talked about the ones that are must haves. So I did not go for the ones I think Mike would have gone for, but I went for the <laughs> until we can meet up again pin to commemorate the mm. con. Yeah. Um, and then I, of course, went for the pest control van because it's like, oh, I can start collecting at least these. At least I can stay up to like normal yeah. on these. And I went and got. Yeah, um, you're getting of course, on the floor on that. Yeah, getting the hawk and chick was the other pin I had to have. Yeah, yeah, and 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 uh, and just to show how great a guy JB is, he ordered me a hawk and chick pin. So thank yeah. you very much for that. I didn't so. wait for him to say yes or no. <laughs> I was like, they're gonna sell out. So. Yeah, so I, I appreciate that. And, um, I'm hoping to uh, put my own order in. Uh, well, I assume these are pre-orders. So other than mm -hmm. the limited edition stuff, I should be able to snag a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see. But yeah, those pins are definitely going to sell out. Um, they, they usually do. They usually do. And the only um, other pin I did grab was I went all the way down to Todd's end of his page, and there was the <laughs> Teddy um, Book of Mormon Mm -hmm. Bobway one for five mm -hmm. bucks, so I went mm -hmm. on that and took that. Yeah, no, but fantastic. yeah, check out some of the older con stuff if you have time mm -hmm. and you have the money. Take a look; they're down from like they're down to like ten bucks or fifteen dollars yeah. for some of the bigger ones. So it is worth it, and don't yeah. pay sixty dollars on eBay. No, don't check the <laughs> Facebook group. Folks are always helping each other out there. Check uh, Toddland.com before you do anything else. Um, and when in doubt, if you want to shoot us a message asking where you might be able to find something, I mean, sometimes we have a lead, sometimes we don't, but 100% check out the Facebook group first because th those are good folks and they're trying to help everybody out. So, 
Yeah, um, there you have it, folks. That was our review for the 2021 Toddland Comic-Con Bob's Burgers exclusive releases. Uh, if you haven't checked, if you haven't yet, check out our um, review and recap of the Duncanville panel that happened yesterday, uh, Friday. Um, we're doing that for all the Bento shows. So tomorrow, which is Sunday, uh, as of this recording, we're doing the uh, Great North, uh, House Broken, and Bob's Burgers panels. And all those mm -hmm. will come out as individual recaps. Um, but we'll also, in our next full-length podcast episode, they'll all be combined together into one giant episode. So uh, amongst other things, it won't just be a rehash of what you've already heard. But yeah, that's um, we're trying some new things out here. We're really excited about it. And uh, hopefully you are too. But um, yeah, as always, uh, this has been From North to Wharf on a little mini episode, but I am Mike. And I am JB. And we will see you later. I don't know. See you guys. <laughs>